Hey guys, before this video starts, I want to tell you about this sick website that sells hella cheap NBA jerseys. The website is ringchasers.com. I copped myself a few jerseys on there a while back, and I honestly don't know how their prices are this cheap. If you guys want to get a sick deal on a jersey, make sure you check them out. Link will be in the description, and use code LQG at checkout for an extra 10% off. What's going on guys, it's LQG, and today I'm back with another video. So today we have for you guys, NBA Legends Explain, the players they hated to face the most. Even though on paper, some players are just way better than others, certain matchups give different players hard times. Just like in this clip where you see LeBron get mad that Kawhi Leonard is checking back in, some players have an easier time with different matchups. And you can also see this sometimes when you see a player keep going off against your team, and it seems like somehow he's only good when he plays your team. Let me know down in the comments below some of these matchups that you've seen, and what players you hate to see your favorite team or player face. Make sure you guys smash a like on this video to see if you get 100 likes, and also make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to catch all the new content. We're releasing daily videos for all of 2021, so make sure you don't miss out. With that being said, let's get into NBA Legends Explain what players they hated to face. This is one of those things where, I guess you could say, statistically, this guy should just kill this guy, or this, should be, this is one of those limo games, you make sure he gets to the arena because you're going to wear him out. Sometimes it just doesn't work that way. Does it, Shaq? If you had to narrow it down to just one, uh, big country, big country. Why? Because he used to. Because you know, guards that don't play defense, they always tell bigs to show. So I would show, and big country be 15 feet away, and I would have to rotate back. And he had the ugliest Donald uh, Duckworth one-hand jumper. He shoot it and it always go in. And so halftime, I'm looking at the stats. Shaq 15, Big Country 26. I'm like, that's killing me. That's killing me. That's how I got that big contract. Yeah. All the big, all the big name uh, point guards you you faced, uh, and all the battles you had in your career, your Hall of Fame career. And who are you telling me is is your toughest, your toughest guy to to check? Steve Coulter. Oh, of course. The, we all knew that. The, the crooked leg. <laughs> like, he, he had a move. Oh, hey, let me, uh -huh. Get a ball, get a ball, get a ball. Get a ball. Get a ball. He had a move. I got you. I couldn't. I got you. I could not. No way, I got you. I got you. And we would call it the crooked leg. He's going right full speed, and he would stop, plant his left leg really hard. And then he would throw the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then go over it. Full speed. Full, full, full speed. speed, right? And so Washington had this great scorer by the name of Jeff Malone. Oh, yeah. And we would come to the arena. We playing the Washington Bullets Wizards now, right? And I would say to Dumars, hey, you take Steve Cope. <laughs> I, I got Jeff Malone. <laughs> How about it, Charles? Uh, probably a couple guys. One, uh, Carlos Arroyo, who, oh, yeah. you all see, Puerto Rican kid. He came in the league, man, and, and you know, he, he, he played okay, but his numbers weren't great. But, man, he was tricky with that handle, man. <laughs> <laughs> you had to focus in on him. Uh, so I, I, would say, I would say Los <laughs> and then uh, Teron Lou, who... Shaq knows, and he didn't have, you know, this stellar career, but stayed around a long time. But he was so tough to stay in front of, and his mid-range game was was top-notch. And, you know, you, you wouldn't know that, but I know that, <laughs> unfortunately. I got to go with Marty Conley. Oh, Marty Conley? His, his jump shot was so One ugly that we used to, we, I made up the rule. <clears throat> and I'm talking stuff in practice. If anybody go for his pump fake, it's a $100 fine. I went for every pump fake. <laughs> I mean, he gave me about 25, and I just remember just being there like, I know his game. He can't get by me, and he just, every time, he just, he gave me, he gave me the business many times, Marty. He, he was the man. I can't, I can't know who lie. else, Ernie, for him? Samaki Walker used to kill him. Oh, you so you're, you're filling in names of guys who used to. Samaki Walker used hey, to. Hey, Chuck, get his doctor Phil, dog. I need, I need help. I, need, I do need help. Hey, you know, you if I see him, I'm going to take my ring. The one guy who gave me business every single time, and I hate him to this day, is Popeye Jones. You hate him to this day? Oh, my God. I, you know, this guy, I could not stop this guy. And why was that? I have no idea. It's like, and first of all, I, you know, you ask Isaiah why Steve Coulter's killing him. You call why Big Country's killing him. Like, I can't even explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wish I could. This guy's killing me. This could guy, go back. Could get cooked him down to player impact estimate, <laughs> which is, you know, the points plus the fear goes plus the free throws. 
<laughs> you, know, you know, we were talking about those ana analytics, analytics earlier. Yeah. And the thing that drove me crazy, the NBA do one stupid thing that drives me crazy. You guys see, you know, when they have all the stat sheets, like those little packages, and it show what would a guy average if he played four to eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that's the reason he's not playing for six minutes a game. Right. <laughs> like, all these guys tell me, you see, it's like, dude, you, he would have his 32. Yeah, he'd have his 32 and get 17 rebounds a game. That's the reason we're playing him 12 minutes, bro. That's the reason we're playing him 12 minutes. Uh, but my guy's Popeye Jones, man. Every time I see him, I just shake his head and say, you're a better man than me every night I saw you. Yeah, well, I, I, was, I would say I had trouble with a lot of guys. But I would say that it, it, I always took pride that I used to say, and Charles, we use this say, a saying a lot, I used to like playing against little guards because I say it's like shooting over a chair. I used to say, oh, I, I'm going to get all my jumpers off today. Oh, oh. And, this, and, and he was a good player, but Dana Barros. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just got rolling. <laughs> for some reason, when he saw my face. <laughs> and so... <laughs> three! I mean, three. rolling. So he had his career high. He had 50 points True. Against, against us in uh, Houston. We, beat, we up like 17, 18. Us or me? Uh, no, on me. No, wait. <laughs> but no, that's 48 on me. No, wait. The best part about it... No, the best part about it is when Sam Cassell came to the team. He didn't know I had trouble with David Battle. <laughs> <laughs> so, first two or three plays, he get rolling. Boom, boom. I'm like, okay. I'm going to get these two fouls. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming in. Like, so then, Sam, <laughs> so soon, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, foul shaving. For, we up. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not getting the business. So, <laughs> so, then all of a sudden, he gets, he's still hot. He hits like three or four more. Boom. So, Scram screaming on the bench. Why you get him rolling? Why you get him rolling? And I'm like, it's all you, baby. It's all you. <laughs> so, at the end of the game, he had 50. So Sam's like, they they re, re, the one of the reporters, he's like, well, Kenny had 21 and I had 25. So we basically had 52. So it, it's, it's even, it's a wash. But Dana Barros was that guy. Well, I think Reggie, you're the only one who hasn't weighed in on this. Well, mine more so, Charles said it, I don't know how he killed me. It was not so much he killed me, but I couldn't get, get off on him. And Isaiah knows this very well because growing up late 80s, early 90s, it was all about the bad boys in the same division. He's a Hall of Famer, but it was. You can't say a Hall of Famer is a guy. Listen that to me. You, couldn't, listen you to gotta me. bring a guy that wasn't. But it wasn't so much. It wasn't so much. He, he killed a Hall of Famer. He didn't kill me. Hey, no, 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 no. No, no. no. Like, he's a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer. Magic Johnson. Yeah, but when you. When you, well, listen, when you thought of the bad boys, you didn't think of really Joe Dumars. What? No, you thought of Zeke. You thought he was of a Lam corner stopper. No, listen. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Oh, but he stopped awesome. everyone. But listen to me. Joe Dumars and Isaiah, they had like a secret language. <laughs> and y'all all knew. Yes. The whole thing. <laughs> yeah. It's called hunt rap. It's called hunt rap. <laughs> right? So you got Joe, and Joe was like the gentle, gentle one, and the rest of them were a bunch of pack of wild dogs. <laughs> so Joe's trying to tell me, hey, Reg, I'm going to kind of let you go by me. But you knew you were going into Bill Lambeer. Rick Mahorn, and you knew you had to take your punishment, but you couldn't be a punk, right? Yeah. So you couldn't set off a jumper. So Joe's like, I really wouldn't do it if I was you, but <laughs> and then is looking over him. <laughs> you couldn't get off of him, or you couldn't get off. So you don't do Mars. I'd love to hear your side of no, this no, story. No, Come no, on. No. But what was that language? You know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. I told that you was... what right. <laughs> Hey, Reggie, you know what always bothered me about the Pistons? The one thing, and Isaiah probably, he can't say this on national television, but we all know it's true. And I, we, every time I see him in the studio, I see, when they were doing the 30 for 30 thing, I said, the only thing that made me mad about the bad boys, I don't mind, physical intimidation is part of the game. I said, the one thing that sucked about the bad boys, ain't but two of them can fight. <laughs> Isaiah and Joe Dumars. <laughs> you, you know, your Bill Lambert always got to fight, but he was always getting hit. Yes. I know Mahorn can't fight. <laughs> I know Dennis can't fight. <laughs> you know, John Sally maybe, but he's more of a lover than a fighter. Right. James Evans can fight now. But the only tough guys the on guard. the team were the guards. That's guard. the point I'm making. Yeah. What is that language, uh, man? Yeah.
It was bad. I can't say it on television. So that's it for this video, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Like I said at the beginning, we're releasing daily videos for all of 2021, so you don't want to miss out. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.